G'day guys. Um, look, firstly, I hope everyone is doing well and staying as healthy as can be and being smart by wearing a mask and social distancing. It's not hard and that shit actually works. Um, at this point, I'm pretty sure I've finished Netflix and Hulu, but it's all good. We're going to get through it. Um, secondly, this week for 19 for 20, I wanted to have a quick chat with you about something that I'm still learning to understand and recognize myself, marginalization. Now, um, it's a word that I'm sure you've all heard before. I know I have a lot lately in particular, but have you ever stopped and thought, what does it actually mean and, and who does it actually affect? Um, with everything that is going on in the United States and, and around the world lately, I find myself having a lot of time to, to reflect and really think about the way that I viewed society up to this point in my life. And it really is a powerful gift to begin to recognize and understand where so many people are coming from in their fights and, and struggles, including myself. Um, so, so put simply, marginalization is the treatment of a person, a group, or a concept as insignificant or peripheral. Now to unpack that further, some examples of marginalization can be uh, assuming someone will act a certain way based on, on stereotypes about their identity. So that's like uh, race, uh, gender, sexuality. Um, denying professional opportunities because of aspects of, of someone's identity or uh, not providing equal access to resources because of someone's identity and so on and so forth. You get it? And all of this is, is very highlighted lately with the Black Lives Matter movement where people have, have had enough and are standing up for change. Um, we see it with the fight for LGBTQ rights and, and women's rights. It's, it's something that happens frequently and all around us. And look, we, we often marginalize people subconsciously without even realizing we're doing it. Um, so when I say it's a powerful gift to recognize this, I mean that uh, I'm working on taking the time to understand how I see the world is not necessarily the same as, as many, how many others see and feel the world, just as, as others don't see the world the way I see it and, and how things can affect me. Um, I mean, we all know how this feels. It's, it's happened to all of us at some point in our lives, but just imagine living your entire life where this happens every day, you know? We're all dealing with issues every day, every week, every month, and we don't know what struggles someone is going through. So I find it's really important to, to stop and really think about our words and our actions and how they may affect those around us. Um, I found that listening more and, and trying to put myself in someone else's shoes is, is, is the best place to start to make a change. I mean, the smallest things can, can make a big difference. And as we hopefully move forward as a, a better, more aware society, it's going to be step by step together as equals. So I'm going to continue learning and, and working on myself. And I hope you will too, because I want to be part of this better world that, that I know we can all create. As a wise wizard once said, all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. Yes, I'm a nerd. Anyway, um, something to think about. I'm no expert on this, but uh, I think it's really important just to, to, to talk about it. Even if, if we're wrong, we can just talk about it and, and, and figure things out and learn and grow together. Anyway, stay safe out there, guys. Big love to you kings and queens. Mwah.